So today we are talking about the difference between billionaires and the average person. Now, does the average billionaire have 10 times more in assets than the average person? Of course they do. Unless you're worth more than 100 million, a billionaire has 10 times more than you do. So how have you accumulated that? What's happened? Where's the difference? So let's start with intelligence. Is the average billionaire 10 times cleverer than the average man? Of course not. The average IQ is around 100. It's impossible to have a 10 times higher IQ than that. No one in history has got anywhere close to that. So what about time? Does the average billionaire have 10 times more hours in a day than you do? No, of course not. We've all got the same, right? We've all got 24. The clock hits 12, we all start again. No one gets any extra. So if it's not time, it's not IQ, what is it? Well, it's this. This is what we're going to cover today. The big AC. Now, let's start with B. So the B stands for books. Now, we live in a tech world, so it doesn't even have to be books anymore. This can be videos, audible, podcasts, whatever it might be. Basically, it means education, educating yourself, continual learning, continual growth. The Japanese have a, have a saying for this, and it's called Kaizen, and that's what it means, continual growth, continually getting better. So let's see if there's a bit of a gap there. The average CEO reads how many books? between 50 and 60 a year, dependent on the source. So but the average CEO reads between 50 and 60 books a year. Now, what about the average person? Well, actually in the UK, 58% of people never read a full book again after they've left full-time education. So that's nearly two thirds, over half the people in the UK never read a book again in their whole life, never mind a year. So now we see a massive gap, 50 to 60 books a year, compared to none. Now we're seeing a huge gap, right? The gaps are starting to show themselves. Now, what about the I? The I stands for the individuals. Now, you will accumulate the wealth that is the same as the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So who are you spending the most time with? Are they pulling you up or dragging you down? Now, I'm not saying go and ditch your family. What I am saying is spend some time with some billionaires. Spend some time with those people that are where you want to be. Now, again, you can do that through books, through videos, through listening to them. So go and seeing them speak, if they're public speakers. There are tons of ways that you can do this, but spend more time with those people that are super successful. Who are your five people? Who should you be spending the most time with? Then we've got G. G stands for goals. So again, 91% of people in the UK don't know where they want to be in five years' time. If you don't know where you want to be in five years, guess where you're going to be? Where you are now. Flip that on its head. How many CEOs of major corporations know where they want to be in five years' time? Every single one of them. They've all got a five-year plan. They've all got a three-year plan and a one-year plan that all help them get to that five-year. They've all got a 90-day plan that helps them get to the one-year. And they've all got daily plans that help them get to the 90. So they've all got goals. They all know where they want to be. Now, when you have goals... You can slowly move towards those goals every single day. Every action that you take gets you closer to those goals. If you don't have goals, it doesn't matter how hard you work, you're just moving in any direction. You're just exercising. So you've got to have goals. You've got to know where you're going. The next one in A is for action. They take massive action. This is a really key one. So on all these goals that you've got, you've got to start taking action towards getting towards them. Richard Branson's the best example of this. Massive action taker, right? Whereas the average person settles for mediocrity. And then we've got consistency. So you've got to be consistent with all these things. You've got to consistently read. Reading 50 books in one year isn't going to change your life. You do that year on year on year, and it absolutely will. It's no good associating with five people for five minutes. You've got to do that consistently as well. Consistently setting goals and then increasing those goals and consistently taking action. You've got to be consistent with this stuff. There's no fly by night. There's no quick wins. You've got to be consistent. So that's the big AC. That's the difference between the billionaires and the average people. I swear, if you spend the next five years working on just this stuff, you're going to have success beyond your wildest dreams. You're going to be in serious danger of being super successful and super happy as well, because that's the key thing. This is all about joy and abundance, right? So we've got to live an excellent life. That's my passion and that's my belief. 
Thanks for watching us today. Hit like, drop us a comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel, or you can join us at 7.45 on Facebook. We go live every single morning, 10 to 15 minute sprint called Master Your Morning. Win the first hour of the day and you win the day. So to join us on Facebook, follow our Facebook page. It's James Burke, Action Coach. See you then. Take care, everybody.